Summer Gamma Witch, and today I'm joined with Anime Boyfriend. Hi, hello. <clears throat> and today we're going to be playing a fun little anime game called Is It Real or Fake Anime? I think that's what we're going to call it. I don't know. I've seen other <laughs> channels do it, and so we're going to try. <laughs> uh, the premise of the game is that we come up with uh, summaries of anime that are either real anime or ones that we made up with our little noggins. And the other person has to guess if it is a real anime or a fake anime. Woo! <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> uh, would you like to be the first to guess? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> In this sci-fi anime, a sexy alien agent has pursued some criminals <laughs> to Earth. While trying to apprehend one, she accidentally hill kills a high school boy. In order to keep him alive, she must share her body with his mind, while her alien species repairs his body. Now they must work together to take on a secret group of evil aliens planning to experiment on the inhabitants of Earth, while also leading a double life as a school a schoolboy and an idol. Blah blah blah. Is this? Is that the? Is, is that the whole? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, that's it. That's, oh, that was the whole synopsis. That's oh, the whole synopsis. <laughs> uh, if you. If you wrote this, that'd be awesome. Wow. Um, if you're the one that came up with this, I would watch that. I would watch. I would watch the hell out of that. Uh. So is it real or is it fake? Hmm. I'm gonna go with real because that sounds like something that an anime studio would make. That sounds like something that would be adapted and made into an anime, like. That sounds pretty pretty anime-y. So I'm going to go with real. Is it real? It is real. It is called Birdie the Mighty. <laughs> and I recently had a commission for it, which is why I was like, I'm going to put that one down because it's so Ooh. weird. <laughs> and it it's, definitely sounds weird. <laughs> it's, they made a remake of it. So it came out like in the 80s and then again uh, in the 2000s. 2000s? Yeah. Ooh. I might have to put it on my plan to watch list. That sounds awesome. <laughs> It sounded really cool. So it's my turn now, right? It is your turn. Okay. <laughs> so this one is pretty short. Uh, not as long as, as yours. Uh, the colors are three cute little girls who hang out together and protect the peace of their city. They have lots of fun together doing stuff like playing video games, solving puzzles, and going to the zoo. This anime follows their largely happy daily life. So is it real or is it fake? Sounds like Powerpuff Girl Z. <laughs> but. It does kind of sound Powerpuff Girl y, doesn't it? And Powerpuff <clears throat> Girls did have an anime. That's true. They did have an anime. Um, it sounds like it could possibly be real, but then again, I believe anything is an anime. There's so many out there. I'm going to say it's fake. You never know. Are you sure? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with fake because of the uh, I don't know the the colors thing and the 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 lack of mm, plot. Mm. Right, right. It's real. Is it's it real? real. It's yeah. <laughs> uh, it's called uh, Colors Power. Col uh, I don't know the full title. It's called Oh uh, Mitsubishi Colors. It does have a manga adaptation too. Oh, <clears throat> oh, um. <laughs> I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about it. It was like super short. Like, come on. It was like really short. So like, it sounds like something that I would have come up with. Don't don't beat yourself up. I just sounded it, okay? very generic. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so I mean, I wasn't sure, but then again, it, some anime is generic. <laughs> that's true. It's a really comfy show, though. I really recommend it. <clears throat> okay, I'll I'll take a look at it sometime. Yeah. So now it's your turn. It's my turn. Go ahead. <clears throat> um, let's see. A long time ago, a yokai named Kurosuke fell in love with a human. Her family didn't approve and had him exercised. However, it didn't work completely as he had his power take on a form of a human. He has wandered the land for over a hundred years, reluctantly helping humans with their yokai problems so he can absorb their powers and refer, uh, return to his former self. Now, in present day, while facing a myriad of supernatural perils, he meets the reincarnation of his one and only love. He is conflicted over his feelings of betrayal and love, knowing if he ever wants to be with her, he must give up his yokai form forever. 
Is this it? sounds like a show that I've that I've seen before, actually. Um, there's this one show called, God, what is the name of it? Um. There's this one anime that sounds exactly like what you're describing. Uh... Natsumi's Book of Friends, that's what the anime was. Oh. Yeah, it kind of sounds like that. Uh, but I'm gonna go with... Fake? Cause... Um... It kind of sounds like you read a synopsis and then made like a fake... Like you altered it slightly and then made a fake anime out of it. So I'm gonna go with fake. Okay, yeah, it, well, it is fake, but I didn't read a synopsis. I actually wrote this for publication and submitted it to a company along with the first chapter. Well, good, because it sounds awesome. Um, no, but Natsumi's Book of Friends is a really good one, but it has nothing it to is. do with, like, love, betrayal, or... Yo it has nothing it's, to do with any of this except there's a yokai I know, in it. I know, but it kind of sounds like... Cause I don't know. I don't know. It kind of sound in that way. It kind of sounds like it. But yeah, you're right. It has nothing to do with love or betrayal. So, <clears throat> um, I think there is one that kind of maybe the uh, uh, what is it? Kisama. I can't remember the name of it. It's so, okay. So, <laughs> someone with a fox and a and <laughs> I, I don't know. There's so many of those. I don't even. There know. are. There really are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far you Yay. got two for two. You're doing fantastic. I got two for two, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing pretty good for myself. I thought I was gonna be doing terribly, but you know, there's three more left. Mm -hmm. I should, uh, I should slow my roll. You know, there's still, there's still a chance for me to uh, fail miserably. No. So it's my turn now. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Mayu is an eighth grade girl whose parents have been hired by NASA. They take off to America, leaving Maya with Mr. Se Seonji. Later, Mr. Seonji decides to go on a one-year-long trip to India, leaving Mayu alone with his son, Kanata. More complications arise when an alien baby and his babysitter pet crashes land in, the, in their house. Uh, babysitter pet crashes land in their house, yeah. To make things worse, alien babies start calling Mayu and Kanata mom and dad. Also shown, uh, also showing ESP power and floating around. I kind of butchered the synopsis there, but hopefully you got an idea of what it's about. Basically, an alien baby uh, crash lands and uh, starts calling these two, uh, these two people, their mom and dad. And this baby has an ESP power and starts to float around and stuff. Is it real or fake? <clears throat> um, oh my. <laughs> I want to say I've heard of a... Of a series similar to that minus the baby part that's how that's how it is for a lot of these things though <laughs> i've heard a series similar to this because it's all all of these animes have already been made <laughs> um hmm i still kind of want to say it's fake it doesn't help that i butchered the explanation completely i'm so sorry <laughs> no 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 i mean i'm stuttering over words too so <laughs> Um, hmm. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen an anime like that, or... Uh, I believe in you. I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with fake because I don't want it to be real. It's real! Oh no! It's actually, it's actually real. It's called Da Da Da. Like Dada, like Dada. Da Da Da. <laughs> it's called Da 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 uh, with one exclamation point. Uh, uh, yeah. It's very much real. Um, never seen it. Didn't even really look at any of the promotional work for it. I I read the synopsis of it and I was like, that's pretty weird. I'm gonna put it in my <laughs> in my descriptions. <laughs> it so, reminds me a little bit of like what was it, Hitman? Uh, uh, with the baby thing, and I'm like, yeah, what? the the transformation from like a teenager to a baby. Uh, I know the show you're talking about. Like he was like a detective, Detective Conan, right? No, no, no. Show? It's no? it's actually just like Hitman. Cause blah, 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 Japanese name. Oh, okay. Uh, and he, it's like a, this little mob baby from Italy goes to Japan to recruit <laughs> someone. <laughs> what? It was really popular too. It was really <laughs> what? That sounds so obscure. What? <laughs> no. Uh, n yeah, no. I think I have. <laughs> 
the, the manga too. I'm just like, eh, it's so weird. <laughs> well, I, um, you know, it's kind of a weird show. I, I didn't want it to be real, real either. I read the synopsis and I was like, why does this exist? But yeah, but yeah. This is why I said return. everything's an anime. Now I'm second guessing my whole <laughs> life. My whole life. Everything is an anime. My yeah, life, go ahead. My life is a lie. All right, uh, let's see. I did... All right, here we are. <clears throat> this psychological horror anime follows a high school girl, Amane, dealing with her anxieties and isolation in her new village, ostracized. Blah, blah. That's that's a word. Ostracized by everyone, but an underclassman named Reiko, who is an outcast. They try to live a normal life, but strange things keep happening around them. It starts small with stolen objects and vandalism, grows into missing pets, and then murder. Amane realizes it was all done by Reiko, but when she finally gets the courage to tell someone, she learns there was no student by that name. I feel like I've... This is the, this is the trend. This is the trend this is of this. <laughs> I feel like I've seen a show like this every time. I, I, I feel know like this, I've seen a show like this. But... I feel like I've seen a show like this. <laughs> uh, just because it all exists there is no original anime anymore it's, it's all that's that's very true it's all been made before the difference is the in in the execution isn't it uh <laughs> yeah um or just the different character designs i don't have a justification for why i think it's real i know that's the rules like we have to give our justification as to why we think it's real or fake but i think this is real um because Something about it just seems like it would be real. Like that's it's sitting it's sitting with me like it would be real, you know. Mm. So I'm gonna go with real. Uh, is it real? It's fake. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is another one of those stories I wrote for yeah. um, a comic that I never made. <laughs> it sounds awesome though. Like it sounds like a show that I would have definitely watched. You know, um, like it sounds like a show that I would have watched. Writing it out, <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of another. Yeah, actually, no, you're right, kind of. Now that I think about it, yeah. It just doesn't <clears throat> have the same type of supernatural right, right. horror thing going on. Because this isn't su wasn't supposed to be a um, uh, supernatural story. Mm. It was more of a psychological... Like a horror, psychological horror thing? Yeah. Yeah? Like, she's <clears throat> just crazy. That was, that was, that was it. That's the spoilers. <laughs> of the story that'll never be written. <laughs> you should write it. You should write it. It sound it sounds it sounds incredible. I I would watch it if it ever became an anime. <clears throat> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, no no problem. It sounds incredible. So now it's it's my turn, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh for as long as Akari can remember, she and uh Hiro Hiroyuki have always been friends. But with time everything changed. And her feelings have turned into something more. As a new semester of high school uh, begins, will these two childhood friends become closer or drift further apart? Join her, uh, Hiroyuki, Hiroyuki and Akari as their friends, the bubbly Shino and the quiet Sekiri and the lovely K K Katone and more in this heartwarming tale of love, relationships, and friendship. <clears throat> that was so the most generic thing? plot I've ever heard. <laughs> that was high school kind people... Of the who that fell was in love. kind of that was kind of the point. <laughs> uh, I, I threw a lot of generic ones in there to throw you off, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you did a good job. I I don't think I've gotten <laughs> one you, right thank yet. Thank you. <laughs> um, I thought about this a lot, you know. I can tell. <laughs> the only thing to go on of whether this would be a real or fake is the names, and I've heard all the names before. I just don't know if I've heard them together. Right, right. Like, you've heard them in other shows before, probably, right? Yeah, well, <clears throat> and they're very common. Like, common well, names. Some yeah. of them are common. I'm not sure about the one you had trouble pronouncing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just bad at pronouncing names. Uh, Hiroyuki. Mm. Hiroyuki is the name I had trouble pronouncing. Okay. Hiro Hiroyuki, yeah. <clears throat> um... Gosh, I'm just bad at reading. I want to say... <laughs> My instincts tell me that it's real, mm -hmm. but I also know that every time I followed my instincts, I've gotten it wrong. Mm -hmm. So... 
Um, do. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. I, I, I'm, oh, no I'm, worries. Take your time. Take all the time you need. I'm going through the, the library in my head of... The checklist. The mental checklist. <laughs> um, I'm going to go fake. I'm going to go fake. Because I really want it to be real. <laughs> it's very much real. It's called Too Hard. <laughs> Too Hard. I, yeah. I haven't heard that one or watched it. Uh, Neither have I, really. Again, with the last show, I just looked at it and I was like, this is this is something that I could put in my fake or real anime description. <laughs> <laughs> at least in my case, I've seen all of the ones I've picked. <laughs> that's true. That's true. I feel like I'm, I'm, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm being kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of a jerk about it, you know? I'm kind no. Of... <laughs> no, but uh, if you ever need to know more about these, I, I, I know. <laughs> All right. I'll um, definitely ask. Now it's your turn. Go ahead. <laughs> it is my turn. A young man named Akira wakes up in front of the White House with a gun, no memory, or clothes, and finds he has seventy-five million dollars and a phone that will fulfill any request. With the help of a Japanese girl, Saki, who lent him her coat, they are now on a journey to recover his memories, only to learn he is a part of a group of individuals tasked to save the current state of Japan in their own way. If they fail, they will be killed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's the that's the whole synopsis. That's the whole synopsis. Oh, uh, mm, mm. I feel there's a lot more to go on there than two people fell in love and yeah. in high school. That's true. Uh, I'm gonna go with real but is it, it doesn't sound like a show that i've ever heard of before is this another show that you wrote i'm gonna go with real is it, it is real, real. it's eden oh. of the east oh what yes <laughs> I, have you watched I've it heard, i've heard of this show i've never watched it but oh, i've really definitely good. i've definitely heard of it um actually now that you mention it that was one of the shows i looked at for one of my synopsises but skipped over um, <laughs> So I'm surprised I didn't immediately get it because I I I have read the synopsis for my for my descriptions. That's really weird that I wouldn't recognize the show because I, um, I saw the synopsis of it. Well, this is mostly describes the first episode. Oh oh oh, not not the like the description of the show. Okay. Well, okay. The, it is the description of the show when oh, okay. the task to save the current state of Japan in their own way, mm. um, but. Yeah, it starts with like him waking up at the White House with a gun and no memories, and it's like, what is going on here? Yeah, I don't know. Um, my instincts were just telling me that that would be real, and I got it right. So, so you're cool. right. Yay! Cool. Yeah. Uh, so now it's my turn, right? Uh, let's see. I only have two left. Um, in the year 2030. The tension of the world's superpowers rise to the point where Earth, as we know it, is nuked to oblivion. In the wreckage of this crisis, the only two known survivors from the rubble are two children. One of them, a young boy named Sergo, aged 11, gains the mysterious power in the wake of the crisis to birth mechanical life into the world, a power known as the Mechanical Garden. The other child, a young girl named Kazus... Kuzu, age 10, gains the mysterious power to destroy that which the boy creates. The future is dependent upon these two children whom not much is known about. The answers about how they got their powers may reveal the secrets to a new future, the new world, and even their own destinies. So is it real or fake? Ooh. <clears throat> um. Huh. At first it sounded like you were describing an anime I had seen. But as soon as they came up with supernatural powers, I'm like, no, I haven't seen this. <laughs> That's the trend for this video, it is, though. It does it sound is. like an anime that I've seen. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Y y everyone's destroyed but two people? It would be a whole... uh, I mean, I mean, we don't know if there's well, that's more what survivors. Your yeah, your description but that's says. What, that, that's what the description says. But so we don't. I mean, only be there, there the could be there could be more in the show. You don't. You never know. <clears throat> I'm trying to come up with logic based on your <laughs> based on your description. <laughs> uh, 
I know it seems like all of them have been real so far, but I still think it's going to be... I want to say fake, because I don't know how far you could go with two right. characters. Right, right. Although the idea of the power sounds kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let me go with mm-hmm. fake. It is fake. I wrote it. Oh! Yay. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. That would be very interesting. <laughs> I wrote interesting. this. <laughs> are, are you gonna uh, are you gonna write it out into a story? Uh, probably not, because I'm really bad at writing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's definitely not my strong suit. Aww. <laughs> but I'm glad. I'm really happy you thought it was interesting, though. Maybe yeah, maybe in the future I will write it into a full story. Just <laughs> add more than just two characters to it, and it'd be uh, <laughs> really good. <laughs> All right. Well. Um. Right ahead, and now it's so for my, turn. my final one. In this sci-fi comedy anime, a flamboyant space criminal named Johnny has stolen a state-of-the-art interdimensional sentient spacecraft. While trying to outrun the Galactic Federation, he ends up crash-landing on Earth. He now takes the form of a high school boy, Junichi, while his ship takes on the form of his personal aide, Yuko, as they blend into Japanese culture. However, he wasn't the only one to land on Earth. A stranded Federation officer, Yurin, is also on Earth, still trying to pursue him, but things turn into a tricky. Uh, things turn tricky when both his sentient ship and the officer start to fall in love with him. Oh, hmm. is that that's the whole synopsis? That, I feel like I have to ask ask this every single time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, that's that's all I, I had had. Written okay, down okay. This. Uh, it started to sound like Space Dandy in the beginning. But then as you started to talk more, it started to sound less like Space Dandy. Um, with all of these that you're, that you're uh, describing, they all sound amazing. Um, I'm going to go with... <laughs> uh, uh, this is hard. Um, I'm going to go with fake. I'm going to go with fake. Is it fake? Is it, it is fake. fake. Yay! <laughs> well, um, yeah, I started writing it with the idea of Space Dandy in mind, because this is the only one that wasn't based off of... It did sound like Space off Dandy, of, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, off of a, a story I had written. But it's like Space Dandy, and then there was one I had watched at one point that had a sentient ship that they fell in love with. And I'm like, that's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to smash these ideas together. <laughs> a sentient ship that a person falls in. Love it's like, kind of a little bit like um, Tenchi, incredible. where it turns into the rabbit. Right, but right. I think in this other one, it was like a girl. Oh, right, right. Well, that sounds incredible. You should write that into a full... All of these that that are fake, you should write into full stories and then send them to uh, anime studios and I, see if they... I'll, I'll pass on this one. <laughs> You'll pass on this one? Why this not? Is not? Because this isn't something I would ever watch. <laughs> It has. It probably has appeal for some people, for for a good majority of people, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'll let I'll let the anime industry come up with it on their own. I'm sure they could do it. Give them enough time. I'm sure they could do. It. I mean, the anime industry made a made a show out of out of idol boys that are that are statues. You know, they made a, they made an idol show out of statues. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I'm sure I the anime stu- the that. anime industry gets pretty. Pretty creative with what they come up with. I so, do want to see the zombie one with the idol girls. Zombie Land Saga? Yeah, I heard it's really yeah, good. Yeah, that show is that show is really good. Yeah. Uh, so now it's my final one. Mm-hmm. This one's pretty long, so bear with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, while stopped at a roadside phone booth for transmitting his work through the internet to the university, Professor Hideki Hideki Satomi finds a scrap of newspaper with a picture of his five-year-old daughter Nana in the obituary section. He sees, he sees his wife, uh, Ayaki Satomi, Ayaki Satomi, trying to release their daughter from the seatbelt when a truck, without steering, hits his hits the car, killing Nana. Three years later, Hideki is divorced from Ayaka, who is researching paranormal persons who claim to have read an evil newspaper anticipating the future, uh, still trying to believe on... Wait, what? Anticipating the future, still trying to believe on Hideki, as she finds there are people cursed to foresee the future. But without the power to save the victims, when Hideki changes the future by saving Ayaka, he becomes trapped in hell and has to make a choice regarding his own destiny. So, there's an evil newspaper that anticipates the future, and uh, Hideki tries to use the power of this newspaper to save victims, 
and he becomes trapped in hell and has to make a choice regarding his own destiny. So that's the summary of the synopsis. That yeah. was a roller coaster ride. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was pretty long, so I- I'm sorry. <laughs> no, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so the newspaper thing reminds me a little bit of the Steins Gate, where they would get the newspapers from the past that was right, based right. on things they've done, but. I don't know. I want to say fake only because you've added the hell in there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with that because I feel like this would have been like a really interesting supernatural story. But I'm not sure what hell would have to do with it. Who knows? What what, what does hell have to do with it? What what (laughs) does hell have to do with it? (laughs) So I'm going to go with uh, fake again. Uh, it is fake. It Um, is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh... I'm really sorry to do this to you, but it was a fake. It was a fake Japanese horror film that I cho- that I took the synopsis from. It's um, called uh, Premonition. <laughs> you know what? It. Mm, I'm not gonna lie. There was something about it that reminded me of an actual movie, but I was like, mm-hmm. I don't think that kinda... was like an anime, and I wasn't sure what. Right. If it was Japanese or not. I kind of butchered the explanation. I don't know if I butchered the explanation. Or the synopsis was just like weirdly worded, so I, I don't I don't know what just happened there, but yeah, it was it was fake, so you got that right. Um, have you been keeping track of the score? Because I haven't at all. <laughs> um, I know that I've gotten two right, and you've gotten four right. Okay, so I guess that means I won. You did Yay! win! Congratulations! I did win. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought I was gonna fail miserably, but I I came out and won. Uh, I thought I was gonna do horribly. Because with games like this, I usually feel like I do, I do pretty terribly. So I'm, I'm pretty happy that I that I smashed my own expectations. And, and You're fantastic. Won. I should have yeah. I should have been more difficult on you. But then again, yeah. I uh, wanted to make sure there are series I've actually uh, knew of. That you've actually read before, like seen before, right? <clears throat> yeah. Right, right. Except for the ones I made up, because <laughs> because. <laughs> I do f- kind of feel bad because I feel like I was going a little bit uh, hard on you, so I- I- I'm okay. sorry with my descriptions. No, <laughs> that's fine. This was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, actually. It was a lot of fun. Um, I had a ton of fun, so thank you for having me on your on your channel. I really appreciate it. Um, I had a I had a blast. Yeah. Well, thank we should, you. For we should do this more sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Um, yeah. And I want to thank everyone for stopping by and watching us, and be sure to jump over to AB's channel to see uh, a episode. Yeah, I'm going to be together. doing uh, a collab with uh, Agrama. Uh, I'm going to be doing a collab with her. On on my channel, we're going to be doing the A to through Z uh, anime game, where we guess uh, the names of anime. Maybe I can redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can redeem yourself. Yeah, it was nice. It was nice playing. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Yeah, bye everybody.